Good morning, Doris. It's so good to chat with you again. I know. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Thank you, Tony. And how's this uh, lockdown and quarantine? How are you coping with this? <laughs> well, you know, uh, back in 2017, uh, over most of 2018, I had to be locked down, not my choice, but because of what happened to me, because of my uh, situation with a paralysis, I could not move. So I was so thankful when I was able to get up and around. And now I'm just thankful to be able to move around even within my own house. We are actually going to talk about that. The whole purpose of this interview is to talk about your, your story and your testimony of healing. So uh, let me just start that story in 2017. That was when you were di you had two back-to-back -back diagnoses that are not very good. So tell us about those diagnoses in 2017. Yes, October 2017, I was diagnosed with stage four cancer. And then November 2017, a month later, I woke up paralyzed from the waist down. And the doctor said that the cancer had actually spread to my spine compressing the spine therefore that's why I would never walk again so not only had they told me in October that I had a very short time to live but also in November that I would never walk again during the time that I had left to live and this was in 2017 so how did you react to this diagnosis what was your first reaction when you got this word it, it, it was a nightmare I I really was actually at peace I was I was when I was diagnosed with the cancer I had that scripture that I will live and not die and will declare the wondrous works of the Lord. I was very much at peace. When I woke up paralyzed, it was scary. How did your breakthrough start? Mine has been a very gradual healing journey. It still is. I'm still, I would say 80% of my healing has manifested, praise God. Um, however, it has been a very slow process. Um, so there was no big, huge breakthrough, except I would say the biggest breakthrough was when I was staying with my daughter who was looking after me 24 seven. And the very first time that I could actually get up with support on each side of me, get up from the bed and stand up. That was a huge breakthrough. Uh, your uh, knowledge of the word, the word that was in your heart, how did it play out in your, in your miraculous healing? Well, again, I knew that that sickness was not from God. Um, I knew that I could depend on God's word regardless of what the natural circumstances, uh, what, what it appeared or what the doctors would say. Um, I would uh, claim by Jesus stripes, I have been healed. I was healed 2,000 years ago. You say to people who are watching right now and who are in the middle of this COVID crisis, and some of them are probably sick or some of them are probably no people who are sick. What would you say to them now? How would you encourage them? I would say, no, just be convinced that God loves you and that this, this whatever's going on, whether it's this so-called pandemic with the virus or whether it's your own private um, situation that looks really bad, don't give in to that circumstance around you. God's word is what really is the truth. Okay, so back to your story. What did your doctor say after all of this healing has taken place and you, you, you know, he saw you? What did he say to you? Well, um, the doctor I had at my daughter's house, he uh, told me, I'm a man of science. Uh, he knew my faith. So, but he said to me, whatever you're doing, just continue doing it. Thank you so much for your time today and all the best.